What is up guys? Today we're going to be looking at doing at least some topping. We're probably going to be doing some more in the future. Well, obviously some of them are not ready, but some of them are. They're already starting to put out little bitty buds and I don't want that to happen. So we'll take a look at what we got and see what we can top, what we can't. Okay guys, so I've got six plants here that are ready to be topped. I've got some other taller ones that are getting close, but I'm not ready to top those yet. We have... The El Oro de Ecuador, the Coomer Cherry, one of the Ahi Crystals, there's two other Ahi Crystals there, um, they are not ready yet even though they're pretty tall. The Mini Bell, my Jalapeno, which is, it's not actually the regular Jalapeno, it's the cracked jalapeno, and I can't think of the name, but they're the uh, old world, like the ones that date back to like the Aztecs. Um, and they're actually quite a bit hotter than a regular jalapeno. That's those. And then the black jalapeno. He's ready to be topped too. The Cooper Cherry I've actually already topped once, but, what is that? Somewhere in there, he's starting to get some more pods. Well, not pods, but just little flowers and buds start to come up. But we're going to top him. So, let me get my tripod and I'll show you how I do this. Alright guys, so we're set up here, show you how I'm going to top this. Now, obviously, topping is to restart your peppers into new growth. Whenever they start putting out buds and flowers, that's what they put all their energy into is growing peppers. I don't want them to grow peppers yet because I don't want them to start doing that while they're this small. So to send them back into new growth, they start putting out buds when they get, let's see if I can get you a good view here, the Y shape up there. Kind of see it's just now starting right up there. That's where a lot of people clip their pepper when they top it. I'm going to do mine a little bit further down just to set it back even further. So I'm gonna clip mine back, let's see here, right about yeah, here. I'm just gonna clip that whole thing off there. I know it looks drastic and you know I cringe every time I do it, but just stick your scissors in there and the pepper plant is now topped. Looks a whole lot different. Doesn't have that big bushy top on it. This is what came off. I know it's heartbreaking. There's some little buds in there that are kind of coming up. I don't want those. So this plant is topped. So we'll put him back in there to kind of get some, some light. Next. This one, I actually, it was a lot smaller than this. It's done some new growth, but it actually started having some come up and I actually just pulled them off. Um, but even like this little side shoot right here has one that's uh, sprouting in it. Actually, a lot of these new little side shoots have them. There's a pretty big one right there. Sorry, I got my baby with me. So what we're going to do, I don't really want to cut that back way down there. So let me see. Hold on. Let's back in. There you go. Okay, stop. Okay, so this one. Let's see. Where do we want to clip this guy? I'm thinking... right about here okay now there's still this little shoot right there that's got one this little shoot has one but I don't really want to get rid of the whole side shoot mm, there's only two side shoots that are well no that one is too man this has literally buds coming all over it I don't, I don't want that okay so here are the others topped. Topped the two corners of the Coomer Cherry. There's the Ahi Crystal. 
the jalapeno. Now he's going to be real short. And I don't touch that. And a mini bell. Sorry, I got my baby sitting here and he's trying to grab everything. I'm going to grab some plants. No. We are going to be transplanting some peppers. Here are my six reapers. The ones that look good and the ones that look. Well, I'll see how they do outside. Over here, I was only going to do these, but I had some extra soil left over, enough to do three other pots. Um, so I'm going to do two of my extra ahi crystals and then my kumar cherry. So I'm going to put these guys out. They're big enough now to transplant. I'm not worried about it. Um, yeah, I know it's kind of early, but all our highs have been high 60s, low 70s, and the lows have been in the 50s. I keep an eye on things, and if there's a time that it's going to get too cold, I'll either cover them up or just bring them into the garage for that night and then just put them back out the next day. They have always been fine. They've never had a problem doing that. Okay, so I have five grow bags. That's normally what I grow all my main plants in, and then any extras I put in pots. Just pots I have from other things left over, so I don't have to spend any money. These grow bags, you get them on Amazon. Get a pack of five. These are seven gallon. Uh, get a pack of five for like 18 bucks. So they're pretty inexpensive. What I have in here is a manure compost mix um, with perlite, just to add for drainage and aeration. That's what's in all of them. I mixed that up already. I spared you guys that boring process. If you don't know how to do that, um, yeah, you probably just need to watch somebody else's video on how to mix it. It's just dump it in there, dump the perlite on top, mix it around until it's pretty visible like these. Okay, so the five, the six right here, the five bags, and then the pot are going to be my reapers. Um, and then these three, I'm going to put my kuma cherry in this one, and then since those two are the same, those are going to be my ahi crystals. I didn't make up any labels yet since I've only got three varieties out here and I'll make some later when I start putting the others out. Plus I usually leave my plants in the exact same order all the time. So I usually don't get confused. I'm not an OCD person, but that's just one of my OCD things that I do. Okay, so coming over here, I'm gonna go ahead and do the Reapers. So what you're gonna do with these these are still in the double cup method. There's big roots. They're, the roots have outgrown this cup quite a bit. Yeah, there's the weird leaf problem. Not excited. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but actually, let me get my tripod. I'll make this a little bit easier so I don't have to try to do everything one-handed. Uh, what we're going to do here, just take it out. And I don't think this is just going to pull through like if they were a little bit smaller. So I'm just going to rip the cup. This old soil, I'm not concerned about. Some people reuse their soil. I don't care. Especially not right now with this weird leaf problem. Don't want that coming into any of my other plants. So just try to, you know, damage as little roots as possible. I mean, it's going to happen. Some are going to get messed up, but as long as the majority of them are okay, they'll be fine. And even then, the plant will just regenerate. They're real good about that. Plants are a lot hardier than people give them credit for. Some people like to over baby their plants. Okay, so I'm just gonna break that the rest of the way. Okay, so there is the plant. So what I'm gonna do now is I'll lay this on the ground and I'm gonna spray it with the hose to break up all this because I don't want that going into the new pot. Okay, so I've got these all lined up. 
Got the hose. Don't worry about this, you're not going to hurt the plant. Nothing like that, I don't know what anybody says. Somebody, some people say that it's unnecessary to do this, so you can just drop the whole ball of soil and root ball, everything in, just right into the pot. I don't like to do that. I like to kind of free up my roots so they can kind of explore their new area. All right, guys, here they are. The Ahi Crystal, Coomer Cherry, the two scraggly reapers, actually the three kind of scraggly reapers, and then the three good reapers. They're all looking good. They're just in a, a little bit of light right now. Uh, the sun will probably get down in about an hour, at least past my house. So they'll get about an hour of sun and then they'll just get kind of just kind of shaded. I mean, right now it's not that much. It's still kind of shaded. Got my baby out here. He's cruising around a lot. But that's it. Until next time.